TCM Classic Cruise, December 8th through the 13th. Find more at TCMCruise.com. Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. They say a man's home is his castle, but for one of our stars around here at TCM, John Garfield, as an actor, his castle was usually a prison. And for our next Bob's pick here on TCM, we have Garfield in lockup in a Warner Brothers drama titled Castle on the Hudson, that castle being the Sing Sing prison on the Hudson River in New York State. I should also point out that as an actor, John Garfield also came to feel he was a prisoner being under contract to Warner Brothers Studios the studio that owned him lock, stock, and barrel. He also felt they cast him in too many prison stories, although it wasn't especially the specific assignments he was getting upset about. What really bothered him were the roles the studio wouldn't let him play. For instance, he was very excited when Columbia Pictures wanted to borrow him to star in the film version of Golden Boy, which had been a very daring play on Broadway. Great, except Warner Brothers refused to loan him out. So Garfield lost a great part, and newcomer William Holden got the role. Well, that hurt Garfield big time. And often he wasn't cast in many of the Warner Brothers films he very much wanted to do. At the time when Warner Brothers offered him Castle on the Hudson, Garfield was still pretty miffed about Golden Boy, but he read this new script and he thought it was actually pretty good. But he wasn't keen about the fact it was another prison movie. And even more frustrating is a remake of a movie Spencer Tracy had done at Warner Brothers in 1932 called 20,000 Years at Sing Sing made before the production code rules were being strictly enforced, meaning that if Garfield did the remake, there would be inevitable comparisons with Spencer Tracy's version in that pre-code edition. Well, Garfield was about to turn it down when somebody arranged a screening so he could see the Tracy version, and that changed Garfield's mind completely. Garfield loved the movie, agreed to do the remake, with the provision, though, that Warner Brothers could not change the film's ending, which was a stronger finish than studios were used to doing in the 1940s when those production code rules were enforced. The studio, though, agreed. So for Garfield, it was back to Warner Brothers, and he was once again locked up. This time, directed by Anatole Litvak, Garfield looking through prison bars at Anne Sheridan, Burgess Meredith, and Pat O'Brien, while serving time in that castle on the Hudson. Here's the movie. <laughs> 